three. So right now, uh, what I intend to doing on Alpha Factions, this advanced faction server that I play in a lot. By the way, the link is the IP is alphafactions.hop2.org. I will put it in the description of, I guess you could say, the Alpha Factions. Uh, whoop, we don't want that on. The Alpha Factions video ch or the uh, mixer chat. I can go ahead and put it in. Oh, well, those who are wondering, it is spelled like this. Like that ish, like you know. So, right now, currently, we are stationed over here at Mick Undergro Underground Donald's, my friend Freddy's faction. And we are in creative because I figured, you know, I'd do some creative gameplay today. Um, so, over here is Mick Underground Donald's. There was a war over here a couple days ago and a huge military outbreak strike uh, from, I believe, train men. They actually uh, dropped some bombs on this bunker base over here and I guess you could say the bunker busted and there was a good deal of damage that was done to the base and some things didn't end up being broken so essentially what happened was the retali there was no retaliation uh, the faction I believe Mick Underground Donald's kind of surrendered but the person who attacked this faction it's been restored it's been rebuilt and everything the person that attacked this faction was called, I believe, uh, Train Men, and it was an Ant Hill ally. He told them if they went in and attacked them and went to war, we would sit back and watch, and therefore we have this uh, very old war destroyer over here. This is an AHN Jill, part of the Lisa class ships. Very, very old destroyers. I mean, this is a piece of crap. I mean, really, it's very unpredictable. It doesn't work the greatest. And the weaponry system's firing is really old and obsolete, and it's an easy target for more modern ships. But upon situations like this, where we're just using the radars to detect situations down over here, it, it runs perfect. And no strikes were attempted at the ship. We did have a submarine over here originally. We put the submarine back to port because it was, it was basically a little bit under of its use. We're going to be removing this ship because this ship is probably going to be decommissioned very soon. And I hope to live stream, preferably a decommissioning ceremony for these ships. The Lisa class is the last class of destroyers that were the first class of destroyers that initiated Tomahawk cruise missiles. As you might be able to see right here, these are the Tomahawk launchers. These are very old. These are version 1 Tomahawks and they are very unpredictable. They do some pretty bad stuff, and a lot of the time, it's uh, when they do stuff, it, it normally causes problems. Give me a second. I gotta reconnect to the server as my thing's glitching out. There we go. Um, the Tomahawk cruise missiles of this generation were a lot worse than what people put them out to be. I mean, a lot worse. Um, when they fired, they didn't fire correctly. They used to shoot and glitch out in the launch section here. And you could only launch two at a time on each ship. As time progressed, we got more advanced and we made much better Tomahawk launch systems of multiple Tomahawks at once. Improved the launch sections and improved overall stability of the launchers. The launchers originally were only on one side of the ship. The Lisa class was equipped with only one Tomahawk launcher per ship. Eventually was installed with the second one as well as the AHN Jill had that upgrade because these Tomahawks were not, they were so old and crappy that they wouldn't shoot over the mass here and they would glitch out and they would just blow up and uh, you didn't want to fire on the ship. That was never a good thing. Anyhow, the HN Jill especially has been in a lot of old time war situations and has pretty much lived up to her tail of many different battles. Uh, she actually invaded a couple of places and c provided cover fire. She also did a lot of other things that were really quite, I could say, crazy. And what I'd say in those missions were crazy, I'd say we actually had these ships out positioned by an Eclipse Empire, or they're known by as the Roman Empire Outpost. And these ships were fired upon, received quite a bit of damage, but was able to fight back and maintain. Um, and the ship was also known as uh, patrol boats. I mean, there were war destroyers, but they were also temporary patrols until we got more of our fleet established. They ran as patrols and they were positioned outwards throughout the map. 
and many different places. Obviously now, they're kind of obsolete. Compared to what the most Navy has right now, other naval bases that are in Alpha Factions that are not Ant Hill related are still lagging quite far behind what most people have. And to be quite honest with you, they're still really be far behind anything that Ant Hill Tech has. So, in reality, they aren't coming close to us, to be quite honest. And although there are, are a couple of ships that are really, you know, really good, some of them are actually more than capable of destroying and sinking one of these ships with very little potential. This ship actually uh, was the last design of the Lisa class that is still in commission. And the Lisa class ships and the original H and Lisa are still in commission to this day. There was two more ships made of this class called the Cameron and the Luke. The Luke and Cameron were both decommissioned because they only had one Tomahawk launcher in front and they had Generation 1 cannons. These have a Generation 2 slash Generation 1 convert over. So this is the converted part. Here's the old part right here. And these have been disabled. And they work, but not very well. But these ships had the Generation 1 cannons, and they were basically, their performance was very similar to the AHN Lars class, which all of AHN Lars class has been decommissioned besides one ship, and that is the AHN John, who actually is going to be decommissioned very soon. We are debating whether we want to upgrade the ship and long live its legacy, but that ship was a war hero and actually made, was pasted in in this server but was previously in another server for about two to three years prior and was in many battles and it's kind of honorable these ships are not as honorable because well i mean this one the jill is is the jill has been through a lot too but the age and lars class was mainly just so far behind lagging far behind everything else and the ahn um john was still lagging behind it still is by today's standards but did have a radar it had a radar and a tomahawk kit upgrade because those ships did not have tomahawks equipped and because of their limited tomahawk capabilities they were easy targets they couldn't really fight back easily and couldn't really fight back fast they were very bad at taking hits and couldn't really deliver them either walking punching bags essentially you know but regardless, the point, 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 excuse that. That was not a sound I wanted to make. But besides the point, everything else is fine. Uh, let me go ahead and get my thing pulled up here. My dynamap, as we call it. And we're going to see the location here of this area. All right. We are currently located down here. As you may notice, this is where Mick Underground Donalds is located by. Now, flying to this position is not the easiest. It can be done, but it's not easy at all. You may be able to notice that right over here is an Eclipse Empire outpost. And, holy crap. Holy crap, we're north of the old Deity Land. This was the old Didi land, which was completely bombed to smithereens, as you can see. Completely wasted to the ground. This was uh, a nuclear detonation zone. I mean, I wouldn't say nuclear, but it was definitely a... Uh, it had a nuclear blast. There were multiple Dale bomb targets that were initiated over here as nuclear bombs. Uh, they weren't nuclear, but there was a good deal of them to make the effect like a nuclear bomb. The island was completely wiped off the grid. Um, and over here is one of our patrol vessels patrolling the area to make sure of any, and with radars, it, I don't think these ships had radars installed, but their main objective was to patrol the area. And over here is an old John class ship that got blown to smithereens for whatever reason. Not too sure what happened to those. And this is their Eclipse Empire's outpost that they used to bomb Deity Land from. It's a lot of land, but when you come to think of how much damage they did to this base, it's quite sad, actually. Anywho, our objective right now is to remove these destroyers over here. 
because I just saw those and remove our current destroyer position over here as there's no destroyer of this position and being that this is an old war destroyer it is very not uh, up to standards of a boat that we need over here just need to patrol our cruiser and to be honest with you a patrol vessel would be more than adequate like a standard light cruiser patrol vessel something that's really tiny would be perfect for this so to remove these is very simple actually we need to get rid of the radars here being that we don't need this ship over here anymore all right radar disarmed radar disarmed when they stop moving that's when it's stop it's broken the radars can actually be killed quite easily if you uh improperly fire at them if you could take out a radar actually and wipe it out you can actually prevent it on these ships that's why most underwater submarines that we have are capable oh what the hell oh it's part of this base that comes on whenever you're in here and it's nighttime so anyhow let's fly down to dd land i think our fastest bet to get down to dd land is probably through flight it is a good chunk down so i think our best way of position slash home or hold on, such e chest. I do. I don't think I have a home set there anymore due to the extent of the damage. But I do think I'll be able to fly over there quite easily by uh, just equipping myself. Okay, we got that. We need to get some rockets. All right. We just need to check our dynamat. All right. Well, let's just get to a good altitude here, and we'll go supersonic. My mini map is in here. Oops. All right, all right. Good altitude here. We'll go ahead. Oh, I lost the book. Let's eat chest. We're going supersonic. Way too fast. Oh, that's not good. That's what happens if you're going too fast. I have to turn the dialogue back. I think we overshot it by a bunch. Yeah, we overshot it. We're really low. Oh, that's why you're not supposed to go supersonic at that level. It's way too low to the ground, you will collide with it. Oh, 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 not what we needed. Okay, we need to go west. I believe that's the right direction. Yeah, that's correct. We'll just hit a burst of the afterburners and we'll get out. South. We should hit it. TNT. Yeah, we're nearby. That's why I figured. Okay. Let's get these out of here. These ships uh, need to be relocated because obviously these were designed for the attention of patrolling. And we're done here. We don't need anything here anymore, so we're just going to move these out. Chang. I do slash F on claim. Square ten. Alright, got rid of Van Hill stuff. Yeah, there is some offensive stuff here. So before anyone else says anything, uh I am well aware of the uh disgusting things here. There is a faction that uh raided them that basically like to be known as Nazi Germany. And uh they did some pretty offensive things while raiding this faction. And as for they're known for it as well. There's no point in having them uh, located over here. Alright. So we've got this down. We can go ahead and unclaim square 10. 
and we sold the land and hopefully there's not more land over here good 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 all right fort i think it's just beta i don't think there's a slash yeah this is fort beta for all those who are wondering uh fort beta's main pacific design is mainly to design things. I, matter of fact, this ship was uh, a, a sold thing. We went to sell this. It's an old Lisa class destroyer that we sold off to someone. This is one of the tiniest uh, little boats that we have. It's a little tiny light destroyer that's designed for the purpose of effective light patrolling and nothing of the sort of more. Its main objective is strictly to, like I said, be as a light patroller and to basically take care of a small area so we don't need any ships over here this zone is gone I do want to put an aircraft carrier out here somewhere but nowhere near this area as it's kind of a hot zone still and it's kind of winding down eventually but it's still quite a hot zone and hello whoever's tuning in welcome to the stream I know it might be a uh, kind of cancer right now but nice to see you it's not often that I get time to myself on out the factions. Alright. So right now, we need to head north of our position. Up to about here. We'll hit the afterburners. We'll cruise up there at a good altitude. Just to gain some altitude here. We'll go ahead and uh, bring up our mini-map so we can see where we're going. Our goal is to get to at least level... Hey, busy phoenix. Uh, welcome. Alright, this is a crude cruising altitude. We'll go ahead and we'll hit the afterburners. We probably just went way too far and it kicked us from going way too fast. So that's an interesting one. Thought I fixed that, I guess I didn't. And we just flew past it. Whoops. I think I flew way past it. Yep, because it kicked me, it just kept going, didn't it? Or we'll just get a burst the afterburners here. And we're here pretty much. So, uh if you're tuning in, nice, nice, nice. Welcome to uh, a little Alpha Factions advanced server gameplay. Um as of right now I'm currently uh moving some stuff around. I know they're over here, I don't know where exactly though. Oh, they're right there. Let's go a little bit to our east. That's easy enough, right? So we'll just head this way. And we'll fly to their location. Preferably without the afterburners. The afterburners are a little a little bit too much. They they are definitely really powerful and they get you there really fast. Alright, Mick Underground Donalds. If you're wondering why they call themselves Mick Underground Donalds, it's mainly because of the stupid and corny like like uh base they have. Uh, should should be like over here position. I don't know where their area is compared to water. I think it's over here. It's relative to water. Oh, I left it. I don't know where their base is relative to water. I think west is our best shot here. No. Pretty sure they're over here to this side. Oh, my stream is freezing up? Okay. Yeah, they're over here. Sadly, yes. Uh, I know, it must kind of suck to be the only one in here. Oh, here we go. As of now, you are. Matter of fact, there's not a lot of people on the server. So... Alright, so our objective is to get a nice little uh, light cruiser over here, because honestly we don't need anything more than a, a light small patrol cruiser. And to do so, we'll just... Oh, okay, well, hold on. I, I'm facing in the wrong direction here. Give me a second. Need to have it at the same relative chords here. Up one, slash, slash, paste. Alright, thanks. Uh, okay, we got a nice little light cruiser right here. Nothing of the sort of fancy, but hey, it's something. Go ahead and activate the radar. To do so, you just go ahead and... Uh, bam. We got a radar active. So now we can detect uh, objects and stuff going on. Um, 
we'll go ahead and set Tomahawk Cruise Missiles program there to the location. Uh, to program to the location here, we need to go back to this room back here as you might see it. And we need to find our X value. I believe we want to find our heading. These ships are one-man ships. They're very small. They're intended only for the use of one man. They're gigantic. They're just tiny. Tiny little things. We want our X value to start going as a negative. We want the negative X. Uh, excuse me. I want a, just a standard no factor. And we want a negative Z factor. And our velocity would be... Yeah, it's a tiny little thing. It's a cute little boat. Uh, we mainly only use it as for patrol functions and basically as a mobile radar. It has really no other functions besides that, as it's a pretty basic little boat. But it's a little capable little thing. It's got some uh, decent cannons on it. It's got some decent functions, such as uh, like the tomahawks, we're, which I can demonstrate, by the way. Uh, let me get the slash top command ready and we'll warp kit to the top. Oh. I don't think you saw it. I don't think it launched properly. Whoops. I think that was kind of my fault because... The, oh, oh god. I didn't mean to launch that in that direction. Okay. There we go. Tomahawks on these things are at a very low standard point. And the fuse is a little low on them. But yeah, they can shoot tomahawks on around and stuff. Oh, I think one of them hit the boat. Oh boy. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. It's whatever. Tiny little ship gets hit. It's not like it matters anyhow. Uh, these ships are like the smallest ever we have in the fleet. They're really, like their main intentions are basically as a patrol vessel to keep note. Oh, you don't have it for uh, PC? Hey, Phoenix, if you don't have it for PC, uh... If you have it for Xbox, just let me know. Do you have it for Xbox or no? Alright, well, if you'd like, it's up to you, but if you have a PC that's more than capable of running this, as long as you play on, my, on this server, which, by the way, this is my server. It's a really fun faction server. If you'd like, I'd be more than willing to give you my one of my alt accounts. I literally have like 20 something alt accounts that I uh I basically kind of just give to people that can't afford one. And um I'd be more than willing to give you one. So now what next we got to do is F claim auto. So let's just claim this area right here. It's a tiny little area. And we'll just say we'll F claim. And that should appear right there on the... Oop, oh, oop, oh, not what I wanted. And we should have a little thing claimed out here. And we we'll remove the old destroyer. Here's the new one. It just updated. And this is glitched. It'll be removing as time goes on. It's a tiny little thing, so... Essentially, all in all, it's uh, it's main intention. Oh, that sucks. Honestly. It would have been awesome to you have a PC. Anyhow, I got the little cannons on here too. These are auto firing, by the way. Oh, damn it! Didn't mean to do that. These things are auto firing, and I'll show you what I mean by auto firing. Design these myself. They're just tiny, cute little things compared to the big guns. I shoot pretty far, as you can tell, until the chunk becomes unloaded, and then they glitch to freak out, which they probably might. Yeah, it's it's pathetic compared to the the mighty uh war or the uh battleships that we have. I mean, you want a a general basis of what we really have uh here for home fort Del uh, here's one of our military naval bases. This is our main naval base that we use for storage of all our ships. Um, basically, mass amounts of ships are stored here. We have everything here besides uh, the HN SEBI class of submarines. Oh, hey, AJ. I'm currently streaming, so I'll talk to you later. Um, we have everything here besides the, a the SEBI class submarines, the JAK class uh, aircraft carriers, and the 
Catherine class aircraft carriers, and I believe the Sherman class uh, light cruisers, and the Luke class light cruisers. But here are some of the destroyers, and the list will go on as we go. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. These are technically small destroyers. Seven, eight, nine destroyers. Uh, I'll go over the capabilities. These are the new modern. These are the seventh generation. These are the seventh generation uh, destroyers. Only the main flagship destroyers that we have in the fleet. These are the attack destroyers. They they pack a lot more punch. They're mainly smaller to evade and cause a lot more damage. These are probably the most elite destroyers that we have, uh, mainly for the sheer factor that they they just cause hell and unload hell. And there's two of them. We've got the old AHN John, which is the part of the original Lars class of ships. So the Lars class was all decommissioned besides this last one who was recently uh, fitted with, um, oh no, yeah, Johnny, just spelt John. He was recently outfitted with a new radar design and Tomahawk missiles, but there's very few of them. Destroyer is really out of place. It's just the last on it is so old that it can't really get by. Um, so... That's that. But it, it does have Tomahawk missiles and our new radar, so I guess it's up to code. But the TNT cannons, which as you see right here, are very, very old. Uh, the Tomahawk cruise missiles? Is that what you're trying to show? Tomahawk missiles come out of these things right here. And the TNT cannons are very old on these. So I'll show it later on. I'll show you how those work. i got to launch them elsewhere, though. Over here are the... Lisa class destroyers. There were four of these, uh, two of which were decommissioned because they were just the cannons were old, and these were uh, the last of their kind. The Lisa class was the last. Uh, these were the old war destroyer flagships, but they're close to being decommissioned. The new, these are war destroyers as well. Or technically, these are the war destroyers over there. Those ships you saw down there, those are technically the. Um, those are technically the, what's the name? These are patrol destroyers that were designed. Over here we got the battleships. Uh, these things are fucking massive. And they're also highly armed, both in weaponry. Matter of fact, these things are more armed than any other possible, anything really in general in this whole server. Um, and they are equipped with these, I guess you could say, big guns, all them. And these things are fully capable of doing some pretty interesting things, and that would be rotating. Get in them, and you can rotate them to different positions, as you might be able to see. And you are actually able to fire these, and the effects of them firing are pretty cool. Go ahead and rotate it back again. And we're going to make a slight hole up here, and you'll get to see what it looks like when you fire. And because uh, there are also defense weapons that are able to shoot down, Incoming bullets, as you can see, entity name of big gun, 20-inch shells. TNT has been shot down and destroyed. So these ships are very capable of protecting themselves in an event of an attack. And I'll get to the anti-defense systems later. Uh, you'll see, I have a couple of videos on my YouTube. Uh, this will be uploaded to my YouTube very soon. Um, but on my YouTube, I basically have a lot of, uh, like, these a couple of these ships serving in a couple of missions. Um, what do you mean? What are done? And also, I could go ahead and send my YouTube link. This video will most likely be up there later on once the stream is concluded. Let me go ahead and get my uh, YouTube channel in here. Oh, you gotta go. All right then. All right. See you, man. I'll, hold on. Before you go, though, if you like, I will go ahead and send you my uh, YouTube channel. And I'll go ahead and paste it in here. Click that link if you'd like to, or search up this to get to it. But uh, it'll be up there. If you want subscribe to or subscribe to this channel you can watch these things later have a good one
All right. So beyond this naval area, let's go ahead and get out of here. We've got the tiny little ship here, so that's what we want here. Remove the glowstone along with it. This will basically be our little patrol boat here that we're going to use to monitor this area and nothing more because right now there's still kind of a cold war kind of an ordeal going on between train man and the faction i believe the faction name is train man and what was it train man and uh mick underground donalds so that general like uh there's kind of like a cold war going on between them so our next objective is to actually pace one of our more newer, or I wouldn't say newer, we're going to pace an older aircraft carrier because, uh, well, I mean, I have no problem using old tech as long as it can still hold itself out. We've got an old aircraft carrier over at Fort Alpha. And that aircraft carrier, I don't even know if it still works correctly, but unless we move them. So here's one of the newer aircraft carriers, the Lisbon class and whatnot. And over here we've got the uh, Raoul class. And I think, honestly, our best bet would to paste over here would be our... Uh, uh, fine, I guess, if you'd like. Desperately. I'm in gameplay chat, too. Hop on and join it if you'd like to talk. Just don't be s doing stupid stuff on or I will leave. Please. I don't know why everyone wants to be in my live streams. They're kind of boring anyhow. All right. So I'm going to go over here. Hi, Tartar. Hello. All right. So... I ate dinner, so I'm not as crazy, so I won't act bad. Okay. All right, hold on. I don't know whether I want to use... I don't know whether I want to use one of these aircraft carrier designs. I think I might use the, uh... Ah, screw it. Why not use this one? Have you tried making a diagonal runway, like a real ship? Yeah, I have uh, an aircraft carrier that was never released, but there was uh, a Catherine-class aircraft carrier that is being worked on in the server and actually does have a legitimate-looking runway. However, it needs a lot of work before I can release it, and it needs yeah. massive armor added to it because it, the only thing I really like about these ships and the reason why they're so oddball looking is their armor their armor is close to pretty much nothing that can be compared a matter of fact the battleships have just as much armor as one of these guys does now I have a question how does armor work in uh, with ships with your ships like, multiple uh, layers strong objects you need to have strong blocks and many layers of them so it's not anything to do with command blocks it's just uh nope I mean, these ships are protected by anti-aircraft defenses and anti, um, all sorts of anti-everything defenses. They can really shoot down TNT that are hurtling at them from other TNT cannons and are able to maintain and protect themselves from aerial attacks, depending on what the situation is. So, technically, if they do get shot at, they can, they can, they can just shoot down the attack before it hits them. Um, however, if they can't hold out for that, they have quite a bit of armor to protect them from. The holes on these things are pretty impressive, actually. They There's three to four layers block holes on here. So I guess that's why the big battleship had a uh, cobblestone on the inside. Yeah, cobblestones are pretty strong. The, the We actually were developing uh, a new class battleships that we were not going to announce, but I'm not releasing specifications about those battleships, but... There are a lot more Have you armor. tried using obsidian? You can't really use obsidian, though. That's that's kind of like cheating the purpose. Well, I thought you said that you could build out of anything but bedrock. That's true, but I mean, wouldn't it be hideous to look at an obsidian ship? Well, not the outside, but the inside. The inside armor. That, down the hole and stuff. You could, but I think it's honestly overpowered enough that these ships can strike land targets at over 6,000 blocks away, so... Yeah, I mean, if it, it's already so overkill, why not make it more overkill? Nah, I'm not going to do that. No need for it. In my personal opinion, at least. Alright, so we want to actually move an aircraft. I'm actually going to paste an aircraft carrier down in this ocean. 
Um, hopefully over here somewhere. These DD Land got. I don't know if you know what happened with DD Land. Do you? Me. Mhm. Mm uh yeah, I was part of the DD Land thing. Oh, so you're part of the. the well, Kansas I actually squad. didn't plan it. I I just uh hit the but the bomb button a few times. Oh really? Oh. Yeah, that's right. You're with. And I built a bunch of swastikas at her base. Apparently, Tanner completely overclaimed it. It was gone. It doesn't over. It doesn't have it overclaimed anymore, at least. Hmm. I thought Diddy Day was disbanded. It is. It's it's disbanded as of right now, but uh, that's still a hot zone. I'm sure I might be positioning military. Uh, Stuff over uh, there. Yeah, I, I would uh, not put military stuff next to anything that Tanner has your boat. No, I'm um, not doing it next. As a matter of fact, I don't know if you realize, we have patrol vessels out by his outpost. We just removed them. We're just putting an aircraft carrier out in the middle of nowhere between that hot zone and Freddy's base. Okay. It's going to be closer to Freddy's base than anything else because Freddy uh, I'm, is learning how to make super weapons. By the way, I for totally forgot to turn on a since total server timeout imminent. Whoa. I'm sorry. If I turned on my red resistance while pacing one of those, it would have just not have timed out. Would you be interested in in using my little ship as a patrol ship? Just a little patrol vessel? Possibly, yeah. I could sell you some uh battle not battleships. I I'm going to be making newer battleships because there's a lot of technologies. Yeah, it should hopefully uh it should hopefully Show that we leave on Dynamap in a second. That as soon as it shows that, then we're good. But no, I could show you. I could sell you some uh some vessels because Ant Hill has a mass variety of vessels. As a matter of fact, our most lethal one, in my opinion, is definitely not the battleship. The battleship's really armored. It's meant to take a hit but throw one back. And um and honestly, it it doesn't really. Dude, I don't. I don't need ships. I'm, I'm kind of part of Ant Hill, even though yeah. I'm unofficial. I don't need ships. My faction is just the the poor authority. It's not actually a faction. Yeah. Faction. Yeah. But I, I just have my one ship as a coastal defense, which doesn't even have any guns. It's more of a show. Yeah. I want to put anti-aircraft on it so it can shoot down any of the planes coming into the Twin Towers. Oh, that's actually a really smart idea. I can set that up for you. But, um... Yeah, essentially, really everything else about, uh, but our most lethal ship is actually not the battleships, in case you're wondering. It's the AHN Kenny class subs. Submarines? Yeah, we have submarines. I didn't, I didn't thought you knew. Wait, well, I know you have submarines. Marines, but I didn't know that they were your most lethal. Yeah, I mean, the Tomahawk cruise missiles can actually launch out of those things under really deep depths. They are completely undetectable, and the really cool part is they actually do have an underwater radar. Anything under sea level can be tracked really far away. I mean really far away. So if someone's got a their ground, you can see them if you're, if you're nearby them in the water. And it also has an above ground radar, but in order for it to have the above ground radar, you either have to press the radar system and it has to like bring up the the seeing pole and then this on top of the seeing pole is a radar or you have to be at level surface and on level surface you need to have that radar spinning but uh no it's it's very lethal because those actually have quite powerful torpedoes which can very much so damage other ships and not be detected and the player detection system that reports trespassing players it won't report players it won't show you that it reported you it'll just Go on the radar, it'll notify me and notify all Ant Hill high ranking officers, and not even, it'll just, as soon as we log on next time, or like if it's online, or if it'll it'll notify us as soon as we do a command or rejoin. Does so. Ant Hill tag mean that you get notified of like the air raid siren at the base? Huh? Having Ant Hill tags means that you get notified like with the air raid siren and stuff, right? At the base? Yeah, most Amber Hill tech is like, especially the ships, if they get removed or pasted somewhere else by an unauthorized notify uh, Ant Hill high ranking authority. So, like, you know how it says, like, when you notify something, 
like how it notifies when something in unauthorized entry in the property is going on. It sends that, but most like really highly advanced handheld tech like ballistic missiles and like it'll give the notify, it'll give a warning to anthill members on like the property and like general like hey we're launching ballistic missiles at you might want to chill wax and get out of the area get out of the crossfire matter of fact when anthill gets bombarded by super weapons like it was earlier with the nuclear bombs that that uh that jay made uh you might not know but if you're not a part of anthill and you're nearby it'll actually send a message to outlying Hi. factions because there's so many factions around anthill it'll say hey anthill's being striked you might want to take the fuck because this is going to be a war zone. Hi, guys. Hello, Jay. Hey, Dark Joins. So, yeah, that's really essentially all it does. These aircraft carriers, though, are really, uh... Oh, yeah. Whoops. We're playing on the Pure Survival server, and we've already made out a few things. First of all, I started a mine, and now above the mine it says, Jay's mine. Please put half your earnings in the mine chest. Jay, and we're streaming. Assign... Cool. There's a sign that says mine chest, and then there's a furnace that says mine furnace, smelt ores, then put half in chest. And then beside that it says one iron nugget equals one dollar, one gold nugget equals fifty dollars. If you are creating your own money, that will result in a public execution or jail time. That's the sign when you spawn. Hmm. And I need redstone. But smart enough for me, um, Ian was the one that got the redstone, and he probably still has some, but I do not have some. Aircraft carriers have so much potential in the server, but because no one else has an air force, is really that much use for them. Wait, are you guys, are you guys, or, uh, yeah. Are you streaming on Mixer? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Hey, Andrew, is that you that was saying hello through? They're streaming. Wait, what? Was that you that said hello through, or what's up, fam, through Dynamap? Uh, no. Oh. I don't know who said that. I was making my website, so... Website? You gotta send that? I wanna see that shit! Look how terrible the freaking launch speed is on this. Oh, I've seen the, that. Compared to the modern aircraft carriers, it's just the launch system is terrible. Mm-hmm. But it works, so it's like, whatever. Okay. Well, at least we have one now, so I'm gonna set an outpost here. Slash set home out post underscore north C. Oops. So that way we'll be able to uh come here in an event of patrolling Freddy in that hot zone, which I don't even think we're gonna even like use this remotely for the hot zone. I think we're just gonna like leave that alone. Tanner has an outpost there, but there's like no point in even bothering with that outpost. As far as I know, Tanner's probably kinda pissed off at me at now because he got banned for doing something he really shouldn't have, even though he was kinda in the wrong about it. Uh last time he was on, Aunt Hill and him were in a good position. We were trading stuff and working together on food supplies and stuff, so there's really, like, no major problem. We were truce with him and allied to him. More of a truce, because we wouldn't fight if he got if he got into a war with someone, but we would definitely give him supplies and help him. Have you tried talking to uh, the Antil people about me being in the Navy or the Air Force? No one's been on. I've been trying to call a meeting between Catherine and the twins, as well as some more of the Senate, and everyone's kind of like, I mean, Catherine, like, is very busy with school, and plus she's been like an Overwatch fag for a while now. Well, you, I don't think you have to have everyone on. Yeah, we just need a majority, the, some good uh, people. Yeah, I can, I can, I can do it, uh, soon. You don't have to worry. I think that you should, uh, not, not this, but, you know, the other things. And this too. I think you should decrease the number of windows lot uh, on at least the bottom. Like the number of what? Windows. 
Just look how big these are. This is like prime time to get killed. Like, what do you mean? The size. Of the oh, the w I thought you were talking about my computer. I'm like, what? I'm just that stupid. No, 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 no. Yeah, I know what you mean. They're barred, though, and then the front and, job. And on the destroyers, the destroyers need to have smaller windows. I, I think you should do what I did. Basically, just a, a couple one block windows on each deck. Except for, of course, the bridge. Yeah, the, the bridge has really thick windows. And the windows are really thick on other parts of the ship as well. Yeah, the ship actually doesn't equ isn't equipped with a radar, so I gotta install one. I'm sure I see my Could phone. I install a fire alarm system at Antil? Nah. I'm not gonna install one in a hill most likely. Oh, that thing's still on. No, Great. I, I said me. I know, but I don't want one installed. There's like no relative point to it. I know, but I just. And if there to... was, I was gonna, I was going to actually, and when I did, I was gonna install a DSS IAS 19. Okay, it's it's big enough for it. All right. Hold on one sec. Alright, I'm pretty much going to end the stream because, like, not too much going on, but first I'm going to install this radar here. What does the radar actually do? It, no, it's basically everything in a, in, a, in a hill. The radar technology is basically what it is in the real world war and stuff. Uh, it detects things around it, sends reports, and logs everything into a chest in the main anthill war room. Which then can later be reviewed depending on what's location. It sets so how it works is really. It gives you an ideal location of where it is. It when it writes the logs to a chest, it says radar location, radius, and points at, and it tells the coordinates of it, and then it lists entity at has moved so and so entity. And it logs everything, it logs everything that goes on, and puts it into a, a written book onto a chest. And legitimately, we can see crossing, like we can see things that are really high. It it's all it's all in a, like a 200 block radius. The submarines have a way better one, the uh the in water one of course, as more realistic because sub you know radars and and those stuff can are way more effective. But it lags out me. Huh? It complete it completely lags me out. Well, not completely, but how does that lag? It makes everything choppy. It's just, you can see I mean, it rotating I, around really fast. Yeah. I mean, it says I'm getting 110 FPS, but it feels terrible still. Well, the current machine yeah, I'm yeah. using, I'm basically running my 3 with 70 Ti. And, like, a decently... Like, it's the highest Ni3 out there, but I mean, I'm getting, like, 200 frames. Do all the ships have Antil radar radars in them? Uh, all the new ones, and all of them. That are decently equipped. The aircraft carriers like this class don't have them built in. You have to manually put them on whenever you spawn I the ship. I think you should put one on my ship. That well, the Port Authority Police Department ship. It'll only work for Anhel Tech, though. It'll only work for Anhel high-ranking authorities, though. That's the problem. Well, it was still log stuff of Antil, so Antil can figure out what's going around. Possibly, possibly. Mine is actually like right outside Antil, where all the stuff goes on, like. People organize raids just where my ship is. Something interesting about the radars is you can't actually break them, and when you blow them up at a certain position, they will actually break. Like, watch, see? When you destroy them, it does it does screw some things up, but... Watch. Did that on purpose, because why not? Don't want to make it super overpowered. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. It's that is so... That is... Ink. I have no idea.